Uh, hello guys, today I'm gonna show you an example of uh, Apache Camel and Kafka integration in Spring Boot application. Uh, before we start, make sure you have a running Kafka server in your machine. If you don't have uh, Kafka, you can refer to my previous video on Kafka installation. Okay, uh, let's get started. Uh, first, we need to uh, create our Spring Boot application. So we have to go to uh, Spring uh, Initializer website. Okay, uh, which is project, maybe project, uh, Java as the language, the version, and let's say demo, uh, camel, Kafka. Okay, then uh, packaging is jar, version is uh, 8. Okay, then dependency, let's choose web. Then generate. Okay, then we extract. Camel Kafka. Okay, then we uh, open that using. Uh, our IDE. Wait. Camel, is it? Camel Kapka. Okay, let's wait a bit. It's still loading. Okay, so this is our Spring Boot application. Uh, the first step after loading your uh, Spring Boot uh, application project, uh, we need to add the required dependency. We need the dependency for uh, Camel and Kafka integration. Okay, so let me copy and paste the. We are, uh, basically, we need three dependencies. Yeah. Uh, the Spring Boot Starter, Camel Spring Boot Starter, the Camel Kafka, and the Scala Library. Okay, let's copy and paste. All right. See, then refresh. Then check the dependency if it's uh there. Okay, they have the scanner here. How about the camel? And Kafka. Okay, I'm seeing the Kafka and camel there. Okay, so we added the required dependency. Then after that, uh, we will create a route, uh, camel route builder to route the for example, we want to uh, from a from a rest rest pool uh, API uh, endpoint to going to a Kafka endpoint. Okay, so we will create a router builder for that. Let me paste my code for that. So let me explain you this code. So this router builder, route builder, basically is a, a uh, uh, this is the configuration we need for our camel. This is called Java DSL, right? So first, uh, the topic name we need to specify. So for demo purpose, we just put here a uh, test topic one, okay? Then for Kafka server, uh, we basically put the IP address of our Kafka server. Uh, if you don't have Kafka server, you can refer to my previous video. I explained there how to install Kafka, okay? So basically we need to uh, 
specify the IP address of our server here. Then the zookeeper, same. We need to uh, uh, specify also the IP address of our uh, zookeeper. Uh, in my previous uh, video uh, on Kafka installation, I showed there how to install zookeeper as well. So you can refer on the same video. Okay. Then uh, the serializer class. Okay. You need that for serialization. Then we just uh, concatenate these parameters for Kafka and uh, pass it to our Kafka endpoint. So basically here in our configuration, this is very simple. So I will just create a, a direct Kafka component for a demo purpose. So here uh, we will add a uh, REST, REST endpoint, RESTful endpoint to uh, trigger this uh, uh, Kafka component direct. The, this because this is the the input right from this input it will be routed to Kafka endpoints okay so let me add uh, a restful endpoint okay uh, get mapping public string test and okay uh, I think we need also a uh, a camel template producer template to send uh, to send a uh, message to this uh, Kafka component a uh, camel component rather okay so uh, producer producer template okay at wire Send body so first parameter will be the uh, camel component in our case uh, we use direct right let's copy and paste this direct so we, we make it simple for demo purpose only okay. then exchange uh, pattern out in and then the message that we are going to to uh, send to our Kafka. Let's say this is a test message to Kafka. Point from. Uh, rest endpoint okay so this one we will trigger using uh, yeah in our web we will uh, call this endpoint so this is a uh, rest rest endpoint okay so we call this in our web then from our web we will uh, it will trigger uh, let an A simple message here. So basically from our web we trigger it, right? We trigger this endpoint. Then this uh camel will uh send a message. We'll send this message to Kafka template. Okay. So this is this is our our, our routing configuration, okay? So from rest, rest endpoint. I don't know here from rest endpoint. Here, it will send a, a it will send a message to camel direct component. So it will go here, then it will be routed to Kafka endpoint. The Kafka endpoint configuration is this. Okay, this must be pointing to our Kafka server All right okay let me run this but we can put some uh, uh, debug uh, breakpoint so we can debug
S takes time. Let's wait a bit. All right. Let's. Uh, okay. Stick it. Stick. Taking so much time. All right. There. So okay. Okay, this is just a uh, uh, the configuration, right? Right. Okay. So now uh, we need to trigger the rest endpoint so that uh, this uh, so that the mess this message will be sent by our uh, direct camel component to our Kafka component. Okay, let me trigger the rest endpoint. Oops, what's happened? This, yeah, wait a minute, uh, something's wrong. Oh, I forgot. Sorry, sorry about that. I forgot to, uh, I forgot the rest controller annotation. Okay, let me run again. Okay, it's building. Alright, oh, this is the configuration of it. Okay, let me trigger it. Alright, there. So now uh, we trigger the rest endpoint. So it, it goes inside already, right? So let me run it. Run it. Okay, so we expect the message, this message should be. Uh, should be uh, sent to our Kafka uh, endpoint. So let me show you my Kafka uh, server. Let's verify the message. Oops. Oh, there we go. So this is our this is the message that we sent to our Kafka endpoint. See. Oh, okay. This is the te this is a test message to Kafka endpoint from REST API. Okay, let me send a message again. Okay, let me trigger again. So we expect another message right after uh, triggering this endpoint. Let's remove the breakpoint. See, the message is a. Uh, see the message. Let's uh, send again, the third message. Okay. See. All right. So our uh, camel and. Kafka integration is uh, successful. So let me give you the uh, let me uh, summarize what we did. Uh, first, uh, you need to uh, add the dependency, the three dependency. The it's the Camel Spring Boot starter, Camel Kafka, and the Scala library. Okay. Then after that, you need the uh, route builder in your route builder you need to configure uh, your routing in our case for demo purpose I make a simple routing only so from uh, direct 
uh, camel component, I route it to Kafka component, or should I say endpoint, right? So as uh, you, we already saw the the output, right, in our uh, server. Okay, so I think that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, happy learning. Bye-bye.